<laughs> if you guys knew how freaking hot it was. I'm like zoomed in here because there's just like sweat all on my shirt. Like, I'm gonna have to go like this. Can't see my sweat. What is going on, internet? Eric Van Holtz back again with another amazing episode from Beard Brand Alliance. Hope all is going well on the other side of the internet. What I want to teach you today is how to change your style without changing your style. What I mean? Well, let's get on with it. So if you're a longtime viewer of Beard Brand, you have seen my style evolve and change over the years from a dude who didn't have a freaking clue what he was doing to somebody who knew a little bit and someone who probably still knows a little bit but doesn't care enough to get obsessed over it. Now that's probably the big thing that's different from me and other guys like Carlos Costa, Greg Brzezinski, who have immaculate style, is the amount of time that I'm willing to invest in it. See, I wanna look good, but I don't want to put all that brain energy into looking good all the time. So I've built a pretty simple wardrobe routine that works for me, uh, no matter what, no matter what. So my system's pretty simple. Uh, socks and shoes, jeans, t-shirt, and uh, accessories, jacket, watch, hat, you name it. But what's beautiful is like, you can use this exact same formula and have two completely looks. And this is what I wanna show you. I wanna show you my old style, my current style, kind of where I'm going, where I'm evolving, and the things that I'm doing to make sure I still look cool, but different. Cause I've been doing the old thing for four years and I just want change. Y'all know I like change. So my most recent style was a lot of black. I love black, black on black. It's just easy cause you don't have to think. Black jeans, black shirt, black jacket, black glasses, black socks. Black shoes. It's just, uh, it works together. You don't have to think, you just grab black. Now, in addition to that, you can add, you know, grays or whites and have like a nice kind of monotone look to it. And it's pretty much gonna work. Pretty much just gonna work, you know, that's it. The beauty of black is it's a slimming look. Uh, I think the, the challenge of black though is it's a pretty aggressive look. Like you are going to set a little bit of barrier between you and other people around there. You're going to look a little too cool maybe, a little too, uh, I don't know, off-putting. Uh, but if that's kind of like the, the vibe you're going for, uh, by all means, go and do that. Now my staples of uh, going black, I love bell staff. So I've got this bell staff canvas jacket. I think this is the trial master, something like that. Um, Explorer's jacket, I think actually, because it's got the hood. Uh, it's got eight pockets. This thing's great for traveling. Uh, looks super cool. I need to wax it up. It's been a while since I've waxed it, but that was kind of like my go-to jacket. Pair that together with just a simple black t-shirt. You can get those anywhere. And a pair of black jeans, black denim. Um, my jeans of choice when I was wearing black jeans was nudie. I just really like those. They've got an ever black that's supposed to stay black longer. And um, this is pretty much all I wore day in, day out. Black backpack. This is the Bell Roy Tokyo. I love this little bag. Throw on a pair of black sunglasses. When I think of that style, I also think you can go a little more edgy. Like you could do a little bit of a half bun if you got longer hair, something a little more aggressive. The other accessory I love to wear was uh, my Garmin watch. It's a fitness watch. I know it's not as swanky as like a Rolex or something. If you want to, you can add in uh, a Seiko, dive watch, Rolex, whatever you wear, bring in a little bit of metallic, a little bit of pop to take away from that black on black on black. I'm a big fan that accessories can really kind of change up your style. Now you'll see with my current style, what I'm rocking is like an olive drab type of t-shirt, classic 501 Levi's blue jeans. Uh, I've got some heritage boots from White's Boots up in Spokane where we were founded. I pair together like a bandana in the back pocket, which I need today because it's really freaking hot. The other accessory I've really been digging is this hat. Now, a lot of people got on me in my last video for wearing the hat backwards. Uh, as you guys can tell, I was not. It's a flat brim hat and uh, Western style. And it looks dope. Looks dope. What I've also done is traded out my jacket. So going from a black jacket to a burnished rough out uh, trucker jacket. 
So I'll put this on for you guys so you can see it. Not long because it's so hot. Uh, but you'll see it has like that nice cool little, I don't know, more outdoorsy, more um, kind of workwear is the vibe I'm going for. A little more heritage inspired is kind of the, the look I'm going for. A little more approachable. Uh, something like this, I'm not going to, you know, hopefully I'm not going to be as standoffish. Hopefully I'm going to be a little more connected. And my point is, like, I haven't really changed anything. I still got the shoes, still got the jeans, still got the t-shirt. And I've accessorized it uh, a little bit to kind of, like, evolve the look. But I'm still the same dude with a completely different look. One thing I wanted to add on is, this is kind of fun. Because right now, I'm, like, in this purgatory phase of changing out things. So I need a new bag. I need a maybe a leather bag or a canvas bag. What I also might want to add to my wardrobe is a pair of like khakis or kind of like an olive drab pair of pants that I can wear with, you know, maybe other colors. Because uh, I've, I've found that um, I have these blue t-shirts that I really love, but between the blue and the jeans, they just clash a little bit. So I need a slightly different color jeans or slightly different color pants to be able to work with it. And that's the fun, is like you've already figured out the system. All you have to do is work on finding the clothes that fit and kind of show off your best features. Now, with this look, I like a, a couple of different details. Like I'll roll up my sleeves to show the arms a little bit more. And in addition to that, I like to tuck in the shirt for this look. I feel like it's just got a little more of that Americana look that I'm going with. Whereas when I'm black on black, I'll usually leave these uncurled and then my shirt untucked. So there's just little nuances of ways that you can kind of play around with the look, change it up completely, but be exactly the same. I guess I shouldn't go without saying I got this gold chain. Uh, I, historically, gold chains have never been in style, uh, nor do I think it's necessarily in style. It's not really something that I wear as a style accessory. Uh, my grandfather used to wear this and then when he passed away, uh, he passed it on to me and I've kind of worn it since eighth grade. Uh, I never really taken it off. So I don't even think of it. It's really not a style element to me, but you know, I actually have been kind of getting into gold chains. So I may like uh, grab another one, like a Cuban link one and just kind of double it up. I don't know. There's just something a little more edgy about a gold chain nowadays that I'm digging. I'm digging. So we'll see if I uh, got a couple of the gold chains in the future. Anyways, hope your style is going well. Hope you're not as hot as me here in Austin, Texas. Cheers. Keep on growing. The other thing you should know about Beard Brand is that it's not just about the videos and the information and the grooming and the products. It's also about you, the individual, the inside as well. My name is Bud. I'm a veterinarian. I'm a four vices kind of guy. And if you're going to grow it, you better own it.